guess one of my neighbors got out here trying the marshmallow trick and got the sling in that stick around and probably slung a marshmallow off in the woods. I told you guys it would happen. Told you to be careful. Woo! It's a chilly, sunny morning in Oklahoma today. I'm gonna go down the high tunnel, open up my vent, because it'll warm up in there pretty fast, and check all my traps and see if I caught anything yet. <clears throat> I hadn't noticed any new damage to my seed trays in a couple nights, so I don't know, it may not be coming back. But, good news, I've got some help on the way to work on my tractor today. Maybe we'll get that thing fired up. Just hanging out, getting the chores done this morning. Let's go see if we caught anything in the trap. Nothing in the big trap. Mouse traps are all still set. There's a few peas popping up. I don't know how many of the seeds survived the massacre. But I see a few of them growing. Man, I sure hope we get this tractor running soon because I really need to get those raised beds filled in there because, I mean, it's uh, it's almost middle of February and I need to get some stuff in the ground. I feel like I'm way behind in that high tunnel. And got a few things growing in there and I started a whole bunch more seeds that I hadn't showed you guys yet, but you know, I gotta get, I gotta get going on that stuff because it's garden season in that high tunnel already. I hear all my goats crying. I think they want out pretty bad this morning. Let's go turn them out. Have a little early morning goat stampede. Uh-oh. I found a lighter in my yard. Anybody seen that before? A lighter and a marshmallow. I wonder if that's one of them black dot marshmallows. I don't see any black dots on it right now. But I guess I left some evidence in my yard from my star, my, my, from my uh, fire starting video. Dropped a few things. I guess I was a little excited. You all want out this morning? Huh? Hey there, new mom. Where's your babies at? Huh? You got them laid up somewhere? Come on, go. Come on. Come on, goats. Come on, goats. I heard a goat in here yelling. It didn't sound normal. I don't know where. Maybe she was just yelling on her way out the gate. Sounded like somebody was hurt. I found the two new babies. Mama had them hidden over here. <laughs> up against the feeder. Hi, little babies. Boy, y'all look just alike. You know that? <laughs> Twinkies. Let's see what we got. Got boys or girls? Huh? That one's a girl. And that one's a boy. One boy and one girl. The boy's a little bigger than the girl. Here's the boy and here's the girl. He's just a little bit bigger. That'll make them, that'll make them easier to tell apart, huh? Cause they're like identical twins. Cute little farts, aren't they? Here, y'all better get back over there and lay down. Mama will want y'all be where she left you. You say hello? You say hello to all our friends? Huh? I know it seems like I tell y'all this every time I have a new set of baby goats, but those right there are some pretty baby goats. I say that every time, but maybe just all baby goats are pretty, but those are some pretty Really pretty little baby goats right there. Come on, Bella.
Well, I should have known better than to show everybody out there in the world my marshmallow trick on how to start a fire with a marshmallow. Because look, all that fire. See all that? Across the fence, fire everywhere. The woods are on fire, the woods are on fire. Guess one of my neighbors got out here trying the marshmallow trick and got to slinging that stick around and probably slung a marshmallow off in the woods. I told you guys it would happen. I told you to be careful. Here, get out of here. Before my woods catch on fire too. No, I'm just kidding. That's the park service. Doing a little control burn. Actually burned it yesterday. And they're just here keeping an eye on it today. Just checking everything out, making sure it doesn't fire up and get out of control. Living next to that national park has its ups and downs, but they're good neighbors and they take care of the fence and they burn off their property every few years to help maintain it. And then it's safer for me to do my burns because I do a lot of control burns here on my property. And with their fire lines and fire breaks and stuff under control, then it's less likely for my fires to get away. If you see there, there's another neighbor. There's a fence line, different neighbor. That's not the park. And all those cedar trees. One thing you didn't see down there on the park was all the cedar trees because they maintain it and they keep them taken out, taken they keep uh, they keep those cedar trees under control down there on the park for the most part. Didn't used to, but they've done a lot better job over the last few years. So, my neighbor didn't fling a marshmallow over the fence. I was afraid. I was afraid somebody saw my marshmallow video and got that stick, slung a marshmallow across the woods. Well, worked on the tractor again all morning. Still no go on that deal, but. Next week's going to be a crazy busy week, and I've got uh, probably going to be gone, you know, a lot in and out, schedule work-wise. I'm not going to be home a lot during the daylight hours, so I'm not going to be here to, you know, take care of the goats, you know, several times a day and all that. So I have got to get one of those round bales out in the goat pen. No, I mean, there's just no other way around it. I haven't had my tractor for, I guess, a month now. Still got to get some more parts. Yeah, you you. Anyways, long story. But I gotta get that, that round bell right there, into my goat pen. Now, a while back, old Dutch over there, keeping it Dutch, used his pickup truck to move a round bell and he showed everybody how to do it. Well, I'm in my barn, I don't really can't get my pickup in and around, and so I'm gonna try to do it with this guy. My all-wheel drive, battery-powered, side-by-side, bad boy buggy. This could be interesting, and I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Gotta try, gotta get hay out there somehow. So step one's gonna be putting that chain around that hay bale, and then I'm gonna use the winch on the front of this buggy to try to suck it out of there so I can get it kind of lined up with the door and then I can drag it out. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. I know it's crazy and goofy, but I think this might actually work. Here we go. Wish me luck. Put this camera down here so you guys can see this in action. gonna call that a success now it's not exactly where I want to put it. it's not the ideal location but I can still shut those gates back there and get the goats in here and they'll have hay to eat all next week while I'm doing
doing all my stuff and in and out, in and out, busy week. I got hay in here. I got round bale of hay in the pen. Look at there, I even got it close enough my bellies can feed on it from the other side of the fence. I just pushed it up against the fence as tight as I could get it. But I'll be able to throw some hay over to them really easy from here. Now I know somebody's gonna ask the question. I thought you turned your goats out on pasture and they were out grazing on acorns and, and grass and things like that. And yes, I do when I'm home. But like I said earlier, I'm gonna be gone a lot in and out, leaving early in the morning, coming back in the evening. You know, a couple days I'll be here, but then there's a couple days I'll be in training. And so I don't like to turn them out when I'm not gonna be home because first off, I've got all these little babies. I like to be around, make sure nothing gets them. And when I'm not gonna be around the house, I don't like my goats out just because if something happens, I'm not here to fix the problem. So when I'm, when I'm not gonna be around the house during the day, you know, I keep them pinned up. So this big round bale of hay will keep them fat and happy and fed. And it'll be easier for my wife and kids because they'll be here in and out during the day while I'm gone some. And, you know, be easier for them. Try to do everything as best I can. If I know I'm going to be, you know, busy and my schedule is going to be pretty busy for a few days. And I know my wife and kids are going to be taking care of things. You know, I'll get everything set up, make sure all, everything's got a lot of water, a fresh round bale of hay. I'll fill up the chicken's automatic feeder kind of have everything low maintenance to where my wife and kids can just kind of check on everything and they don't have to worry about anything being hungry or needing water or anything like that. As long as it doesn't get dumped out, then they can refill it if they need to. But try to have everything sailing smooth when I know I'm not gonna be around the house a lot. So I'm gonna turn these goats in on this round bale and let them get to eat. Y'all ain't seen one of those in a while, have you? What are you doing up there, Duke? Reaching over and getting you a bite? 